so I suppose growing up as a male child, you're used to competition. It wasn't exactly that I felt unloved, I was just trying to find my place. I wasn't the baby of the family anymore, and I wasn't my brother. My brother tended to have everything that I didn't. He was good at grades, he was good at sports, he had friends, he could go places. And I think my entire life I never recalled him ever getting punished. He was just the perfect child. I was so jealous. I, on the other hand, was seven and didn't have much going for me. I was bad at grades. And I'd never met anyone more physically impaired by sports than I was. And one day, my brother comes home with a picture, a Dragon Ball Z character which was perfectly drawn and I hated it. Why? Because he was good at everything and art too. I hated drawing. Why? Because I was seven and I didn't know how to draw. Then he shows my grandma and my grandma thought it was the best thing since sliced bread. So what does she do? She puts it on the wall. She puts class over it. She gives it a plaque and she puts a headlight on it. Really. I hated that picture. I thought of that picture every single day of my life. And I couldn't beat him in sports, I couldn't beat him in friends, I couldn't beat him in school. I was gonna beat him in art. So, every day after that, I sat down with my pencil and my paper, and I drew. Forever. I drew continuously, and I hated it. But, over the years, even though it was a difficult, difficult struggle for me, something changed. I started enjoying it. I figured I could tell stories with it. And, you know, I actually really liked it after a while. And after so long of fighting with it, I came to a shocking conclusion. I want to do this for a living. This is great. After a while, it wasn't even about the picture. It was about me enjoying myself. But the picture still existed. So one day when my brother comes up to me, he told me, you know, Charlotte, you're a really good artist. You know, I'm really impressed. And so I told him, I said, you know, the reason I started was because of that picture that you drew when we were little. And he was really confused. He couldn't figure out what it was. And I said, the one behind glass, it's still mounted in grandma's house. And so he thought about it. And he started laughing. And I couldn't figure out why he was laughing. It wasn't that funny. And so I asked him, I said, what's so funny? He said, I can't help it. You're talking about that picture in Grandma's house, right, of Goku? And I said, yeah. He said, that picture? I traced it. Yeah, my whole life is based off of a lie.